basic building block number four the invitation and prospecting or inviting and prospecting so basic building block number four is divided to two parts and first let me start with the invitation now you've gone through your dream your commitment your name list and now you're gonna start your journey all right and this is the scariest part for some reason for many networkers because you are an entrepreneur for the first time you are promoting QNet for the first time and you have a name list of 150 minimum of 150 people and together with the person who got you signed up you are going to make the first set of invitations to your hot zone and your warm zone now this concept of invitation has evolved over the years and it has changed according to society today when I started society was not that open-minded to be invited to come and look at a business opportunity it was unheard of it was something very rare a business opportunity would reflect a traditional business all right buying a restaurant joining joint venture to start a company it was very uncommon in the early days for people to be invited to look at a business opportunity attached to an industry called the network marketing or direct selling industry guys which is today cross over 200 billion and qnet being one of the fastest growing network marketing companies in the world 100 percent e-commerce so guys the concept of invitation requires you firstly to have a certain mindset and the first mindset that i want to instill in you all right to raise your level of posture because invitation or any form of engagement with a prospect to come to look at the qnet business to come and look at the qn europe business is your posture your posture is the deciding factor of the success of converting that person into buying the product becoming a sign up and starting the journey as your downline now to create the first mindset recognize this fact today you represent a multi-billion dollar e-commerce network marketing company in an industry which has a combination of good perception and bad perception all right so you are dealing with the reality of what people think of the direct selling industry or the network marketing industry but the first paradigm shift you need to instill in your mind always which i do until today is they need me more than i need them the minute you are desperate the minute you show any form of desperation boom the presentation will fail everything will fail you don't have to be desperate you have with you great products a great company a fantastic e-commerce platform which they need so always recognize the fact and build in that mindset into your mind that your prospect needs you more than you need them because they need an opportunity they need to start their own business you still have 150 people on the list to talk to but they only have you as one all right because you represent the future concept of direct selling with qnet we are ahead of the rest of the companies we are so far ahead in a different league of our own thanks to the vision of dato sri vijay and japadas bismarck so what is an invitation recognize the word it is an invitation not a presentation so your main purpose of an invitation is to get that person to come and meet you coffee shop attending a zoom presentation coming online to skype coming to a group presentation that your organization has put together on a weekly basis or you going to their home to do a presentation that's your goal your goal is to connect your goal is not to convince your goal is not to do a presentation that's the next block we'll talk about it after this so the first part of block number four is the invitation that's it so stick to the invitation now the invitation is divided simply the professional invitation and the not professional invitation for the lack of the better word that's how i categorize them the professional invitation and the not professional invitation now this concept of invitation very much depends on who you're talking to 
Alright guys, if I'm talking to somebody in my hot zone, my best friend, my brother, Satyo Kuna, alright, or somebody I grew up with, okay, somebody I've known my whole journey of life, we are like that, we grew up together, we ate together, okay, we just spend all our journey of life together, then you need a not professional invitation. As simple as that. Bro, let's meet for coffee tomorrow, 8 p.m., my place. Poop, finish. The guy is going to come. The girl is going to come. It is normal in your relationship to invite them. Now, don't make that invitation into a professional one. Don't call your best, bestest BFF and say, Hello, my name is Patman Sinati Raja. I'm involved in an e-commerce globalized business and I want to have 40 minutes of your time, 20 minutes, 15 minutes of your time to share this great idea with you. Your friend is going to think you're cuckoo. Your friend is going to think you lost it. When it comes to your hot zone, your invitation is normal and not professional. Don't complicate it. Don't make it awkward. Go directly, bring that person to you. Hey bro, what you're doing, let's catch up on Zoom. All right. The most you can say, I have something exciting to tell you. I have something important to tell you. But don't go beyond that. Limit it to short and sweet. Bro, let's catch up. Bro, usual place, 4 p.m. Bro, I catch you after office. All right. Oh, hi, sweetheart. I'll meet you as usual at your place for dinner on Tuesday. All right. So it's part of a comfort invitation. That's why it's not professional. All right. Don't train yourself into this professional inviting machine it will never work keep it simple with the people closest to you now when you go to your warm zone when you go to your cold zone you need to convert your invitation into a professional invitation now there is no specific way to do a professional invitation my philosophy has always been the less information you give the better don't get sucked in on the call or WhatsApp, all right, or email or a Zoom chat into doing the presentation. Separate the invitation from the presentation, all right. The biggest mistake people make is that while they are doing the invitation, they start answering questions. That person is going to ask you, is it MLM? Is it what? Is it an investment? Is it Amway? All right, they might even say, is it QNET? Then you are stuck and then you go into their black hole of spiral complicated questions. You panic. Uh, no, yes, yes, it is QNET. But don't believe what you read on Google. Don't believe what you read on the e uh, internet. Please, please, bro, please let's meet. Give me one chance to show you how great my company is. Ta-da! Desperation. All right. And what happens? The guy switches off. Hey, bro, please, lad, don't waste my time. Pop. All right. And that is where you lose that prospect. So the greatest danger of an invitation is when you give too much information, you give too much information about the company on the call and you can never project the information on a phone call or on WhatsApp. All right? Immediately you lose that prospect. All right? And every time you lose the prospect, there's one name being removed from your 150. All right? And just because of your desperation, or your wrong strategy of invitation, you could have lost an Arun George, an Adli, a Sati, a David, all right? And you lose that whole opportunity, all right? So remember, in an invitation, keep it simple, all right? I always invite people by saying, hey, hi, I just partnered with a Hong Kong-based company and I'm looking for a few more strategic partners. I can't promise you anything, all right? But if you like what you see, we talk. If you don't like what you see, it's cool. What is it about? Don't worry, I'll show you when we meet. I'll show you on the next Zoom call. I'll show you when we meet for coffee. All right, as simple as that, all right, is my invitations. I keep it so short and so sweet, all right, that the person doesn't become suspicious. Because today there are so many things happening around the world that every prospect is on guard. They put up a wall. No, I'm not interested. Whatever it is, I don't care. Pop. But if I make the invitation short, and sweet all right so now i project my invitation in many ways hey guys all right i just saw a business concept all right i'm not sure whether it's going to work for me but i need to identify two or three people so let's look at it together one more time all right and if all of you agree then we get started together is it mlm my answer is always no 
Is it QNET? My answer is always no, guys. All right? I do not want him to have a preconceived idea. Now, if he comes to the meeting and finds out it's QNET, so what? All right? At least I got a chance to present, answer his concerns, or he gets angry with me and says, you lied, and he walks away. Cool. Put him on KIV. Trust me. After a few months or one year, I'll call him again and he will need us. All right? Because he will do more research and he will find a balanced perception of our great company, QNET. As simple as that. So keep it simple. Don't give too much information. But remember, your goal is to bring him to you. Either through Zoom, Skype, video call or face-to-face. -face. But do not lie. Don't say words like this is a job. Don't say words like this is an investment. Because when you lie at the beginning and that person comes, he is going to say that you are a liar. All right? And that word will spread in the network marketing community and unnecessarily tarnish your name. I like to use business concept, business idea. I partnered with a Hong Kong-based company. I partnered with a Malaysian company. All right? I'm looking at an e-commerce platform that is going to allow us to make some seriously good money over the next few months. All right? I want to meet you for coffee to share this idea with you. So I keep it simple. Now with my hot zone, unbelievable, I found it, guys. Let's meet up for coffee. It's okay. All right, it's up to you. So keep your invitation short and sweet. Don't allow your invitation on the call or on WhatsApp or whatever communication to evolve into a presentation. Now, when the guy says yes, he or she can meet, I always give them a choice. So what is good for you? Wednesday or Friday? Saturday or Monday? All right, I don't say Wednesday, 8 p.m. Are you free? All right, what if he says no? Then you have to reschedule for next week and next month. So when you give a human being a choice, they will generally choose. Now, if they tell you they are not free on Wednesday and Friday, don't desperately say, okay, doesn't matter. Any day this week, I'm free. You lose your posture. The purpose of invitation is to maintain your posture because now you are a globalized business leader. You belong to a multi-billion dollar industry with people earning 80,000, 100,000 US a week. All right, guys? So treat yourself respectfully. And that respect for yourself must transfer to your posture, to your prospect. All right? As simple as that. If he says he's not free on Wednesday and Friday, I said, well, I'm fully booked this week, guys. All right, bro? I will call you later. We fix another time. All right? And I always use the word pioneering. I always use the word, I'm looking for strategic partners. I want to make him feel important. I want to make him feel that I'm not just selling something. Now, another art of prospecting that has evolved today because of the great products of QNET is that you can also approach people from the product angle. All right? Home Pure, Biodis, Cheap and Nutrition, whatever. Many networkers today are using the product angle all right, of that person acquiring one of our great products and then evolving it into a full-fledged presentation. So your invitation, remember, is an invitation. Your only goal is to bring the person to the table, you to their house, them to your house, or on Zoom or whatever technological platform you are using for your presentations. So that's the invitation. Next is prospecting. Now, don't confuse the boat. Prospecting is completely different from invitation. Now, you have a name list of 150 names. And I have a rule that that name list must keep growing every month. And my rule is that name list must grow by 10% every month. So if you got 150 people in January, February, you must add 15 names onto that list. And that is the meaning of prospecting. That means looking for prospects, identifying prospects who you are going to do the presentation on a future date. You are not inviting the guy to a presentation. You are adding him to your prospect list. Now, this is the next paradigm shift. All right. The minute you went online to qnet.net and you agreed, click, agree, agree, accept, proceed, pay. All right. You have become a networker. And the minute that moment happens, all right, a radar appears on your head. Imagine there is a radar going, all right, that means all your life 
you have left your house and you have met an average of 30, 40 people in a day and they mean nothing to you. Hello, hi, hey, shake hands. You go to a shop, you buy a $2,000 phone, you buy a $1,000 watch. You don't even collect the name cut of the salesperson. You go to your bank, you go to the mall, all right? You take Uber, you fly, you go to the airport, but your radar was not on. So now you are a networker. Recognize this fact. Today you are an entrepreneur and your business requires you to add people into your name list, to add an average of 15 new people a month into your prospect list. And therefore, you can constantly do presentation because, guys, these 15 people you're going to add is potentially a max out king or max out queen in the list of 15. So I always tell people, when your radar is on, you still have a normal social life, but your purpose is different. Now, you are a networker, like Bond, James Bond. And you got a mission every time you step out of your house. You got a mission every time you take a flight. You are on a mission every time you go to a different country. There is a mission every time you go to a party, a wedding, an engagement. And your mission is to identify a prospect. So now you walk into a party, like me. You walk into a party. Last time you say, and you go back home. All right? Too many drinks, you don't remember anything. But now you go to a party. Your radar is on. All right? Now don't go to a party like you're desperate looking for prospects. You walk into the party, ah, where, 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 where's the prospect? That guy, that guy there. You will never be invited to a party again, trust me. Remember? Posture. So you go to a party, you shake hands with the people you know, all right, who most probably are already on your list, all right, who you're going to do a presentation, invitation presentation very soon. But there's bound to be a lot of strangers, all right, and you mingle. You are used to mingling, you are all social experts. But now when you mingle, your goal is name, phone number, name, email, name, phone number, email, phone number, email, phone number, email. All right? And when you go back home with that name card, all right? Guys, don't staple it on your name list. Write down the name. Write down the contact number. It's your name list. Write a note where you met the person because you're not going to call the person immediately tomorrow. Don't make this mistake of meeting somebody at the party at 10 p.m. today and tomorrow 8 a.m. Hey, remember, I met you at the party yesterday. By the way, I'm partnering with the Hong Kong company. I'm looking for a few strategic partners. Can I meet you for coffee today? No, chill out. Nobody does that. That means you're a psycho, too desperate. Desperation is the greatest enemy in network marketing. Posture, all right? And call him after a few days just to say hello. How are you? We met at the party. And then call him maybe after three weeks with a proper invitation and then do your present. It is fundamentally important that you recognize this. That everyone you add to the name list, put a note. Now, these are new people you are meeting. All right? Go to the bank. Open 15 bank accounts. So, you meet 15 bankers. They willingly give the name card. All right? Do an insurance desperation. Oh, can I look at your insurance packages? Today, the world has changed, guys. All right, everyone is giving out their phone number and names and all you have to do is add 15 into your prospect list. Now, don't go randomly somewhere you see a name and number and tick. That's the last resort. All right, you need to meet them face to face. They need to remember you and the impression that you give them when you met them will decide how effective your invitation will be and how effective your presentation will be. Now, remember your radar is on. So everywhere you go is like tit, 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 and you see a prospect tit, 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 and you walk. Now don't walk like run. Hi, I found you. No, relax. Posture. Bond. James Bond. You understand? It's all about posturing. You are not a salesman. You are an entrepreneur. All right, with a multi-billion dollar e-commerce network marketing company. So have that pride. Have that posture when you're doing your prospecting so what is the rule prospecting is to add names on the list invitation is to invite people on the list and then only presentation so remember that flow so you don't get confused now today with the world of social media all right you can do prospecting on social media all right you're going to meet a lot of people on social media no problem all right your goal is to get them on a Zoom call because they may be in South America, Africa, Middle East, wherever. All right? Again, posture on social media. 
all right don't project yourself on social media like a psycho and don't project yourself on social media as a loser all right taking pictures of your food only all right project a business image project an entrepreneur image doesn't mean you wear a suit and tie all right i don't wear suit and ties anymore all right the world of entrepreneurs are changing okay and what you need to do is project yourself properly so go back to your social media pages all right project a business project success project wealth all right and then you can prospect people on social media i believe today prospecting on social media is a great platform to add people to your name list and then invite online and then do presentation on zoom all right or skype or facetime or whatever you tools that you have to use on the e-commerce platform so bottom line guys recognize this fact you are now an entrepreneur all right be proud of it you are a networker all right but you're not a salesman all right you're not only selling products but you're looking for strategic partners to join you on this fantastic journey of entrepreneurship to potentially be financially free and millionaires which is 100% what's happening all over the world with qnet guys so remember invitation is to bring them to the table keep it simple short and sweet all right you're bringing them to you and then you go into presentation and prospecting is what you do every day but your goal is to get that name to get that number and write it down on your name list and put notes and then approach them strategically without desperation and constantly with posture so invitation and prospecting basic building block number 4 fundamentally important on your journey to max out